Okay, now let's look at another smart trigger type. So, first of all, I need to put in another arbitrary waveform wave here. Okay, so. Now let's stop and let's have a look at this. Let's analyze this waveform a bit. As you can see, there are both positive and negative, what we call runs. Yeah? So, what we need to do, for example, is let's say we want to isolate only the positive runs. So let's have a look at these two guys. Okay, so we're moving the cursors right now because we need to measure the time of the small pulse and then the wider pulse. So that's about 47 microseconds, okay, for the small one. So let's have a look at that bigger one. Okay, set X1, and looks like it's about uh, 90, 91, okay, microseconds. So somewhere in between that uh, 49 and uh, 90 for our time. Now, let's adjust the trigger type down to runt, okay. Oh, we missed it. Let's try again. There we are. Okay. Now, we need to set our voltage range, so if we stop it again, we can have a look and then we can adjust our voltage range just to catch those runt pulses, okay? So you can see both the positive and negative runt pulses will be within our range, but we're setting the polarity to positive, so now we need to set the time. Okay, so we measured, uh, what was it, 47, or 49 to about 90, so anywhere in between that, uh, 47, let's say 50 to 90, anywhere between that, microseconds, and uh, we should have our, we should have triggered at the positive runt. And since we have it set to less than our limit range, it'll trigger on the uh, shorter pulse. And there we have it. Okay, so 47. And I think if we go down from 47 just a bit, we should be untriggered. Yep. Okay, so 47 is right about where it's at. Then, if we change that limit range and we can go to greater than, then we go up to anything up above 47. Now we are triggered at the wider one, yeah? So that's how the runt uh, trigger type works.